How does it, how's your whole leader system work out? What, what's it? Well, the leader system that I use, I, I need to, to have a, a strong enough leader to turn over the flies mm -hmm. and deliver them where we want them to go. If we were, if we were using a, a sink tip or a sinking line, I would do a, a straight 50 pound right. fluorocarbon, three or four feet of that, and that would be the, Done. the leader. Done. This is a, a little more complicated, but it's still pretty simple. It's three feet of Maxima Chameleon, 40 pound test, two feet of 30 pound, a foot or so of 20 pound, and then a 50 pound test fluorocarbon bite guard. Yeah, that's the one that I'd, I'd never seen. I saw you tie it, I thought it was gonna be really complicated, but you did it so fast, so I'm gonna have you slow it down here. <laughs> I can do that. We're gonna do it slower, but that was, I mean, that's the unique thing. I Starts with a double overhand knot in the fluorocarbon, and that double overhand is pulled down to a figure eight. That's where I got lost yesterday. So we have a figure so eight. You, didn't, you don't really tighten it down. You leave the two loops, right, little bow tie there, okay. Yep. Then I'll take the about a foot, double over the 20 pound test, and double it, about a foot of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to thread. The 20 pound. That's where I got lost yesterday. I couldn't figure out how you got that. I thought you laid them together. All right. Pull it through, and then I'm going to tighten yep. the figure eight. Yep. So that's my starting point. And from here, this will look familiar to you as almost like a clinch knot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold the, the uh, we've got to make an opening here. So I'm going to hold it open and go around one. Mm -hmm two, three, four times away from my right hand, mm -hmm. and I'll turn it back on itself and go one, two, three times back, and the looped end goes through here. Basically a clinch knot. Basically yep. a, a clinch knot. I'm gonna okay. take the two standing ends, lubricate that, The Slim Beauty. Hmm, it was much easier than I thought. So let's clip that. I think this is one of the big mysteries of, you know, pike and musky and, you know, everybody thinks you gotta have this super complicated, heavy, thing's clean as a whistle. I'm glad you spit on that. <laughs>